friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a white cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now this is a side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision in this case i want to stain the capsule with trypan blue dye here is an air bubble beneath this air bubble trypan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule and after a few seconds the dye is washed out when we stain underneath an air bubble this the staining is immediate and now this is two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose the cataract appears intumescent but let us see what happens as we incise the anterior capsule and here goes a bent needle as we incise the anterior capsule nothing comes out so this is a not an intumescent cataract this is a non intumescent mature white cataract and in this case i decided to do rexis at on go and it was done easily but we should aim for a 5 millimeter rexis in such cases if the rexis tends to turn to periphery tends to run away underneath the iris we should have some threshold to bring it back and now this is some superficial cortical matter being aspirated now the handpiece is turned, bevel is up towards the cornea and see the direct submarine chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, moves through the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped. And see a lot of loose cortical matter just behind the nucleus. The nucleus has been chopped into several fragments. Now each nuclear fragment is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is engulfed. FECO power ultrasonic energy used in this case is 65 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 Fecomation. This is the last nuclear piece. At this time, the vacuum has been reduced to some extent. And to very slowly very cautiously keeping an eye on the posterior capsule how it is behaving the last fragment is emulsified sometimes i remove the chopper during emulsification of the last piece so that leakage from side port stops and the chamber becomes more stable and after cortical cleanup this is hydro implantation of a single piece acrylic hydrophilic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is being dialed to loosen any cortical matter. Yes, there may be some cortex behind the iris. If we dial the lens several times, the cortical matter may come out. So whenever you are not sure whether you have removed all the cortical matter or not, you can spin the intraocular lens several times and if there is any cortex that may come out there are some lens fibers at eight o'clock that is being removed at this moment so in this video what i want to stress upon is some white cataracts may not require twisties rexis as we incise the anterior capsule if 
we notice that there is no positive pressure inside the lens we can do rexis at on go but the rexis should be about 5 millimeter in size because if we plan a large rexis and if it runs to periphery it may be difficult to bring it back thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love respect empathy and great surgical competence wish not it were easier wish you were better